This video is sponsored by Jerry's Artorama. Jerry's Artorama Online has been serving artists for over 50 years, providing only the best quality art supplies. Jerry's Artorama has premier lines that sell all over the world and are used by millions of artists and professionals worldwide for amazing results. In addition to over 65,000 fine art supplies, choose from over 4,000 free art lessons, oil painting, drawing, acrylics, watercolors, mixed media, and the largest selection of new supplies professionally evaluated and created by artists for artists. Jerry's Artorama has been empowering artists since 1968. We provide reliability, better art supplies, great prices, and exceptional service. The quality of your art matters to us. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Draw Along live stream. Today we will be drawing cats from the movie The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. Clara, do you want to get us, oh, if you want to nerd out about art, our prop has everything you need from tutorials to critiques to community of fellow art nerds. Now, Clara, do you want to get us started with the materials we will be using and the subject matter that we are drawing? Yes, I'm very happy to talk about the subject. <laughs> Go ahead. And today we are using materials from Yasu Tomo and the links to all of the art supplies are in the video description below. And Yasu Tomo makes all of these just wonderful sume brushes and bamboo pens. Like these hockey brushes are great for doing really gigantic washes. And this is their catalog. And you can see they have just an amazing range of all different kinds of inks. They have Japanese watercolor sets, pearlescent ones, tons of really cool palettes. So look at their site because they have a lot of supplies that I think a lot of people don't know about. And those links are in the video description below. And I wanna show everybody all the papers that I'm using today. So this is sketch paper. And this is rice paper, it's super absorbent. And I want to show you some of the differences because this is the sketch paper and I just tested out my ink wash gradients here. But if you look at these other papers that they have, you can see that these papers, like this one's called Gason, this one's called Torinoco, these are much more rigid than the sketch paper. Like you can even see the sketch paper gets very wrinkled, but I really like the sketch paper a lot because it's good when you just want to do something fast and you don't want to use the super nice paper. But this paper, if you take a look at it, can't you like my really scary cat? It's terrifying. It looks like a Furby. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> But if you look at this paper, you can see it's pretty sturdy, but it's extremely absorbent. Like, I just love these washes that you can get. I mean, you can't get this with just regular paper. This is really specific to rice paper. But then if you look at the sketch paper, here, this cat's a little bit less scary, right? I agree, <laughs> but still not the cutest. <laughs> No, it's still a little <laughs> bit weird, but you can see on the sketch paper, like this is really, really wrinkled. But then on this one, it, the paper is just so much more opaque, but I find it's really nice to have both because the sketch paper you can just play around with and that can be really fun. The other thing about rice paper is you do need to have some sort of fabric underneath because the rice paper, it bleeds a lot. And so if you have like a pad, it's going to bleed right through five sheets. So I always make sure I have something like this. And I did mix a whole bunch of gradients in advance. If you want to see my technique for doing that, there's a link to a video segment in the video description below that you can all watch later on. And if you would like to draw along with us with the creepy cats, <laughs> the link to the <laughs> reference photos is in the video description below. And then afterwards we will meet in the Discord and you can post all your creepy cats. <laughs> Kat, you're not pre-mixing your gradients? Uh, no, because I'm not used to that. Maybe I should try that next time. For now, I'm just putting down 
a thin gray wash. And then I will make darker gradients if I need them. And then I will finish with the blackest black, which is the ink that you see in the middle here. So what I find, Kat, is that oftentimes people are shocked that I don't start my paintings with a pencil sketch. And I notice that you don't either. What is your reason for not doing that? Because when you're done painting and you have thin washes, you can see the pencil marks up below the paint. So what I do is just, I kind of <laughs> I'll just start just start painting <laughs> and I will adjust the proportions and everything as I go along. And I think that also just comes with practice. I'm used to doing that, but people who just start out might find this intimidating. Well, Kat, you're going to do one drawing during the stream today, right? Right. I'm actually going to do a whole bunch because I just, feel like the rice paper makes me paint faster for some reason. Like I don't want to dwell on it for too long. So that's my reasoning for that. But I mean, obviously mm -hmm. you can do long-term ink wash drawings if you want. Mm. Yeah. Usually for these draw alongs, I, I'm the one that draws a bunch at once. And this time I'm like, let's try something different. Let's take my time with just one piece. <laughs> Also, also, one thing that I think is really important with ink wash is whether you're doing wet marks or dry marks. So right now I'm doing very wet marks, but pretty soon I'm going to switch to something that's a little bit more dry where you can see the strokes a little bit better. You know what? I don't know why, but that didn't even occur to me to use dry marks. I oh, guess it's really? because I, yeah, because I always use a dip pen. Naturally, it is a very oh. dense, dark ink, and I don't have to even think about wet versus dry at all. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess I never thought about that. Yeah. Well, I'm doing I'm... more a warm-up right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not really doing something that significant. You know, I'm just realizing that I should have had a hair dryer on hand. Because again, I'm not used to painting like this whatsoever. <laughs> so I actually didn't know what materials to get. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Aren't you full okay. of them today? But I'm using these wonderful materials provided by Yasutomo. And the ones I'm using are the brush, all-purpose SW2 brush, and also this traditional Chinese ink, which is a dense black ink that is made to be able to create different values of gray when you add water to it. My Bluetooth. <laughs> cat, I don't know if you've seen the trailer, but the scene with this cat, it like pops out like a little toy from underneath a bed. It's like very sad and pathetic. Oh. So I'm painting the, the dark side of the bed in the background. <laughs> oh, and speaking of ink, this is really cool, Kat. I didn't even know that this ink existed, but this is also traditional Chinese ink but it's a dense black ink with silver powder suspension and the black outlines silver on rice paper, although they say that the effect is more subtle on other papers. And if you look at my creepy cat drawing, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but there is this like little silver pearlescent sheen to it, which I've oh. never seen before. It's like really, really cool. Mm. That's Pretty. I like how that there are these like nuanced black inks that are being produced now. Seven Angelic says, I've always wanted to see that brush that looks like a pan flute in action. Love to know how it performs. Well, let's just satisfy that need right now because I don't actually use these that much just because they're like really really wide and you need 
a huge sheet of paper. I mean, I can't even, it doesn't even like fit <laughs> into my water container, but let's just see what it does. Oh dear, here we go. Oh, I don't think I got it wet enough. Shoot. Oh, you gotta really like drench it. Oh, that is really fun though. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful. Well, let's do it with the black ink so you can see it a little bit better. So I guess I would use this if I was making like a big ass drawing, but I think on a small scale, it's pretty hard to control. Oh, this is so dark. I did not mean it to be that dark. It's not that dark. What are you talking about? I'm a slow and steady person. <laughs> Which probably doesn't lend itself to watercolor or ink very well. You have to like be very confident in your stroke, but I'm all about going back in and fixing my mistakes. Yeah, I found that to be the case with this because it's like the mark is there or it's not. <laughs> you have to just deal with it. Mm hmm. But I will say, I love the way it bleeds. It's just, oh my God, it's beautiful. The way it just mm -hmm. spreads into the paper. Like it's so different than the Bristol or even like the Yupo paper that I've used quite a bit. Cat, this cat is really sad. <laughs> He's really pathetic looking, <laughs> look at him. God. that the reference image in the first place is terrifying like that's definitely cg'd why didn't they just get real cats like come on is it that hard to get cats well didn't uh louis wayne the artist suffer from schizophrenia maybe that's why they cg'd the cats to be a little crazy looking I mean, it makes sense. Have you seen his paintings? The cats are crazy. <laughs> I have seen a few. So tell us in the chat, who here has heard of Louis Wayne before the movie? And who here had heard about him for the first time? Because I'd never heard about him until the film. Yeah, I'd never heard about him either. You think Lauren would know him? <laughs> I don't think she does. This is such a mess. I, I just feel like I always overdo the ink washes. I'm going to do another one of the same photo, but I'm going to try to hold back a little bit okay. more. <clears throat> How are you doing over there? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to both Donna and also... RB Dick 100 for the super stickers. Thank you very much. As you know, your support helps keep Art Prof running. So I'm glad that you guys are supporting us. Yeah, thank you so much because Kat, I think sometimes people look at our numbers and they go, oh my God, you have 110 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm so grateful for that. And people just assume we're rolling in cash. And I'm like, no, not even close mm. so we still need your support believe me i'll let you know when we don't need it anymore <laughs> 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 you will be the first to know <laughs> are we not going to have the super chat animations today i'm so dumb i'm sorry i owe you both <laughs> the super chat animations It's us. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Panda Puffkin says, I remember his cats from my psychology class, but I didn't remember the name. Oh, tell us more about that psychology class and why the cats yeah. popped up. <laughs> and by the way, it looks like you all want to see more animations from Mr. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thank you so much for the super chat. 
<laughs> oh, so Brittany here says, I think it's still being debated whether or not he had schizophrenia. I only heard of him because of this movie. Hmm. And Truck Ha Duong says, is there anything with Hugh Jackman and cats? Well, I'd be the first to know <laughs> if there was. <laughs> Oh, wait, but you can paint them too if you want. There's there are plenty of photos of him holding cats. He's he's too perfect. I, I'll mess him up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if anybody in the chat knows this, there's this meme I don't remember what exactly it's called, but I think it's called like the Ye dinosaur, like Y E E dinosaur. Benedict Cumberbatch looks like that dinosaur. <laughs> well, the prevailing opinion apparently is that he looks like an otter. I, yeah, he looks like many um, creatures. <laughs> it's that long neck and the cheekbones. That's what I think do it. So speaking of Benedict, how many of his movies have you seen? I need to know what your Benedict history is. I've seen the Alan Turing one. I've also seen the Sherlock series. Uh, I also saw the Hobbits film where he played the dragon. <laughs> I could not get through the Hobbit. I found it so boring. Mm. I honestly don't remember anything from that film. The one where... Benedict Cumberbatch is playing Smog the dragon. But the one scene I do remember that really stuck out to me is that like randomly in the scene of destruction, the camera focuses in on like what seems to be an East Asian actor, actress playing a hobbit. And I was like, that's like the only person of color in this film. And that's such like a weird dramatic close up. It just didn't like, they really didn't integrate that actress well into the film. <laughs> oh, geez sort of disappointing, isn't it? It was like so out of, um, how do I say this? It was so unexpected that that's the only thing I remember from that film, really. See, I feel better about this one now. Do you see how the first one, I like mega overworked? <laughs> yeah. Or crash. This feels better. I, I don't know. I always feel like ink wash drawings. It's like they finish faster than I want them to finish. Like they, they mm -hmm. move faster than I'm ready for. It's weird. There are these pictures on the internet where people Photoshop a really sad face onto different cats' bodies. That looks like that. <laughs> oh, shoot. It looks like it has sunglasses. Crap. That's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't want it to have sunglasses. You know what? I'm going to step away because I always overwork these. So I'm going to do another one. These just go so fast. All right. I'm going to do the really plumpy white cat that he's holding. Ginger Cell says, I was waiting for Clara to fangirl about Benedict. Oh. <laughs> Wait no longer. <laughs> You don't understand the depths that this has gotten to, Kat. You don't understand me. I don't wish to. <laughs> well, come on. You're, you're morbidly curious, aren't you? About Benedict Cumberbatch? No, about my obsession. About your obsession? No, not whatsoever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel <laughs> I like I'm inherently somewhat of a curious person, but in this case, I digress. Ouch! I'm oh sorry. God, I feel so wounded. <laughs> Cat, I, I'm so like, I'm so hurt. <laughs> Truth hurts. Where do 
do you start on a cat? I don't know why the last two drawings I've started with the eyes. Is that strange? I don't usually do that with figures. Well, in these weird cat reference images, the eyes are the biggest, most notable landmark of the cat. So it makes sense. Well, also, I feel like if you don't start with the eyes, it's like, what are you going to start with? This like ball of fluff? Like it's, <laughs> it's not very concrete if you think about it. There is a shape in there. I guess you could start with the body, actually. You try that next time. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to try this one with just the eyes. And then the next one, I'll start with the body. And we'll see what the difference is. Although, I think I painted this too big. So this is probably just going to be the face. Oh, I'm using way too much ink, though. And now it's getting, like, really wet. <laughs> Carrie Ann says, have you seen the C trilogy to the ends of the earth? Of course I have. You guys don't appreciate or I think you underestimate the depths of which I have researched all of the Benedict performances. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a really bad, it's so bad, Kat. I can't believe I even watched that. It was so bad. Benedict Cumberbatch oh, must have been a really eclectic selection of films <laughs> he is but have you noticed that he's always like either a really awkward character who has major problems or he's like a certified genius jerk it's always like one or the other it's so weird he's being typecast he is really good at both though hmm oh but he was a dragon um <laughs> in the <laughs> hobbit <laughs> That's true. But isn't that being a jerk? Isn't the dragon mean? That's not a certified genius jerk. Well, that's true. You know, how are you going to be a certified genius dragon? That doesn't make sense. So I'm curious, are you doing a lot of layering or are you just going one stroke at a time? I'm I'm layering for sure. I'm trying not to, though. I don't think this material calls for much layering also the paper i'm working on really isn't the best selection it's just bristol um watercolor paper is it too smooth no it's too thin it's warping it's buckling too much i have put too uh, much water well i'm trying to build mine a little bit more incrementally because i go for the darks like way too fast and then i got screwed later Mm -hmm. Actually, this cat has like multiple rows of plumpness. Do you see? Oh, <laughs> it's so fuzzy. Kirsch Live says, talking of big ball of fluff, I tried to draw me my little Pomeranian dog and there was nothing but fur. Pomeranians are <laughs> just circles, <Sorry>. pom poms. <laughs> Oh man, I think I just made my cat like evil. Do you see what I just did? I don't think it's that bad. I think he looks really mean now. I want him to look cute. It's it's surprisingly hard to draw like live cats cute. Really? Yeah, I think it's hard. Well, this cat is super creepy. So I found out yesterday, Kat, that Benedict is in a movie with yeah. Johnny Depp called Black Mass. I had no idea about this. And it's about Whitey Bulger, the Boston <laughs> mafia, and he plays Whitey Bulger's brother, who's like chancellor of some university that I can't remember. I was like, I do not want to watch a movie where Benedict Cumberbatch has a Boston accent. Like that just upsets me. That's just wrong. Like that shouldn't exist. <laughs> That's just, it, it's like, you're killing me. Like, 
why can't you just have your British accent? Like, why do you have to have a Southern accent and then have a Boston accent and have an American accent? I'm like, just, just stop it. Oh, how dare an actor act? It's just, it, it's like, what a waste. Like, you have that, like, gorgeous, hot British oh, accent. Gosh. And you just letting it go to waste. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So Janet says, how do you paint or ink without first drawing it out with pencils? I would be too scared to mess up and not being able to erase. I think for me, a lot of it is building up very, very light washes because I pre-mixed my gradients. And so there's this one gradient here, which is almost nothing. It's so, so light. So if you start with light washes like that, and then you save the darks for later when you're feeling a little more confident, I mean, you really can sketch with ink. It's just people think you can't because it feels so permanent when you put it down. You can't erase it like pencil. What do you think, Kat? Any tips? I think that's exactly it. If you watch this video back later, you'll see that both Claire and I started with a very light wash. And then as we got more confident, oh my gosh, better be careful not to drop the ink onto the painting. Um, as we got more confident with where the proportions are, where the face, where the cat is, we got darker. Oh, I'm going to use the pipe brush here, cat, for the fur. Oh my mm. God, I kind of love that. Oh my god, I kind of think that's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's a so good fun. I guess like a battle to see whether you should render things through your own ability or if you should let your medium speak for you. Well, I'm definitely doing that because I am not painting fur by fur, like at all. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just approximating, like I'm saying, okay, here's about a fold here. There's a little bit of shadow on that side, but I'm not even close to making it more specific. Ooh, thank you so much to Jill Kama for another super chat. Third one today. Keep it rolling, guys. <laughs> Keep it coming. We need everything. Because you know what's funny, Kat, is you always think, oh, when we have a bigger budget, everything will be better. And then you realize that as you grow, your expenses grow and to support the programs that we have, because we have more people that like us now, mm -hmm. we have to invest in more staff and more supplies. And so it just sort of never ends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hoping there'll be a point where we can keep up the demand, but not have to spend more money, but we have not gotten to that point yet at all. Someday, I hope. You know what? I'm going to try this brush, Kat, the hockey brush. You see if that Ooh. does something. Because it's actually really good for the fur. Like, I'm surprised. I don't want to do too much, though. Seven Angelic says, when an actor is well known, there's no reason why they have to be one nationality or the other. I do wish they would just talk like themselves. Actually, Kat, you know who I didn't think was that great in the movies? But when I heard him talk in real life, I was like, you are hot, is James McAvoy. I'm not with the times. I don't know who that is. Sorry. <sighs> Professor X in X-Men, young Professor I've X. Never watched X-Men. You know who else is in X-Men? Who? <laughs> Michael Fassbender's Magneto. Uh, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> so James McAvoy has like a British accent in X-Men. But then I saw <gasps> there's a Graham Norton video with Hugh Jackman and James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. I just like died when I found this video. 
And James McAvoy has the cutest Scottish accent. Oh my God. He's so adorable. <laughs> Man. You know, I can pretty much recall Hugh Jackman's fa- uh, name on command now. I was talking to a friend. They're like, who is that guy who played Wolverine? I was like, Hugh Jackman. And that's all thanks to you, Clara. <laughs> <laughs> He's on demand. You see? <laughs> Actually, Kat, I'm going to start. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh my I guess I'm not going to start with the page. Well, it's all gone to crap anyway, so let's just do it. I was going to just start the cat with just these like random oh okay i i don't know if oh wait maybe if i do this with the rag i can get rid of that but i was just gonna make like a thing of fluff and then just mm. like pull a cat out of it i don't know that whole like last 30 seconds was just you making noises <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else is there to do in a live stream alex has his robot noises I've got my Benedict Cumberbatch sounds. <laughs> oh, Carrie Ann, you speak my language. Took a while to know that Christian Bale was British. Oh, I love Christian Bale. And not as much as I like my other men, but I really like him too. <laughs> I do like Christian Bale. See? What not do you mean crazy? see? <laughs> you're always like they're not that he's so beefy looking i'm like you're, you don't understand kristen bale no you said that about hugh well i still stand by what i said <laughs> fine i mean he is beefy but i like that i like the beefiness <laughs> you know what i'm gonna do cat i'm gonna make the eyes absurdly gigantic in this one just, just for fun Okay. Let's just make it like really crazed cat. <laughs> okay, this is like starting to get really scary looking. I was looking up this person, Louis Wayne, and then I saw that allegedly he might have had schizophrenia, but that reminds me that one of my most favorite short films of all time, I think, has to do with schizophrenia, and it's called Schizen. Uh, not sure yeah. how to how to spell it, but it's directed by Jeremy Clapin, uh, C L A P I N, who is the same guy who directed I Lost My Body, the animated film. But Schizen is super good. It's really sad, I think, also. But you can find it here on YouTube. Just Google it. Is it live action? No, it's animated. It's about this man who believes he was hit by a meteor. Wait, was it an asteroid or a meteor? In the film, he's very specific whether it's an asteroid or a meteor. But um, he then experiences life several centimeters away from his body. So even though you see his body in one place, it's actually affecting like a few centimeters away from him and he has to somehow live his entire life a little bit out of place from his body oh that's so bizarre what yeah. a cool idea i know i don't understand how you have this like cyclopedic knowledge of obscure animated films that i've never heard of it's not that many <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you're always bringing up some like amazing animated film that I've like never heard of. Well, at a point I did want to study animation. So that came from my love of watching animated films. Yeah. I'm really out of date as to the animated films being made now. I have not... I've not watched an animated film in a while. You're old, Kat. Dang. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. People in the chat can tell me if you have felt old at some point, and when was the moment that you felt old? I think for me, it's when Kat didn't know who Robert Redford was. <laughs> You're never going to oh, yeah, look that down, that you know? 
Well, actually, one time in class, Clara, many years ago, you said that you felt old the moment somebody, some stranger tapped you on the shoulder and said, ma'am, instead of miss. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> Although I have been called miss a couple of times recently, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> You know, also it's funny. Sometimes I Google myself just because I'm curious. And two of the terms that pop up are Clara Lou born and Clara Lou age. <laughs> like apparently the internet really wants to know how old I am. They want us to be curious. <laughs> Anybody here in the chat know how old Clara is? <clears throat> I'm 45. There you go. No, that's Clara, that's... <laughs> You're such a killjoy. Yeah, every time people do that, it's just like they're always wrong. And then you talk about why you're wrong. And <laughs> yeah. God, I don't know where this drawing is going. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I actually really <laughs> like that. I, there's a lot of movement to that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's definitely um, taking some liberties. I mean, Louis Wayne took some liberties with his cats. We saw a picture, Kat and I were looking at this before the stream. It was this huge band of cats and one of them was spanking another cat in the background. <laughs> it was mm. so weird. You know, it's funny. I feel like my paintings are getting further and further away from the reference. Do you ever find that you do that? Yeah. It becomes more your voice. Well, because I do think oftentimes one of the things that's hard about having a reference photo is you almost feel like obligated to be close to it. You ever feel that mm -hmm. way? But I think it's way more fun to just play. Oh, for sure. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I just put down this big blob that's wet. And I think because I can't fit my pipe brush into my tiny containers, I'm just going to like push it while it's wet on the paper. That's kind of fun. Brittany says, I felt old when I asked my younger sister what some slang term meant, but I'm fine with it. Not everyone gets to grow old, so I view it as a gift. Oh, that's so nice. I never thought about it that way. Hmm. I think that the moment is when somebody younger than you explains how to use the latest social media platforms. Hmm. Has that happened to you yet? Not quite. Stuff like TikTok and stuff I saw by myself, nobody had to explain it to me. So not yet. No. <laughs> Aren't you so smart and special? I'm just younger, Clara. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pulling out of punches today, are you, Kat? <laughs> what you get for putting me on a stream with you and Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> oh, he's so cute, Kat. And his voice is like, it's like chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> so I'm going to totally kill this if I work on it more. So you know what I'm going to do is like a really fast one. Mm. Of, uh, I think I'm going to do the wacko 
gray cat you know the one that doesn't even look like a cat it looks like i don't know <laughs> not a cat yeah sure <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure it's CG. It, it does not look right at all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just... <laughs> what is this? I'm going to go finer. I'm going to try to get some details in. But it's still wet. You know what I kind of like about the live streams is I can just like mess around and it's like it does not matter because like I'm past caring about that stuff. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Do you still get like worried about like, oh no, what if I do a bad job or what if it looks terrible? Like, does that still worry you at all? Because I know a lot of people get stressed about that. I don't think that really worries me because I know it will. <laughs> I, I think it will still turn out fine it's, and I think whenever I mess up that's also an opportunity to learn and it's great for people to witness that as well I mean do you think it just takes experience to get to that point where you're not stressing probably and maybe you already have a history of making good work so even if you make something bad you'd be like that's not my general skill level that's just one incident <laughs> Whereas somebody new who makes like a bad drawing, they they don't have that to fall back on, perhaps. Mm. So maybe it's just like creating a history of at least a few pieces that you feel fairly accomplished with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm drawing. This is so That's dumb. terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. It's sort of like the cat already looks wonky, so I know I can't make it look any... Well, maybe I can make it look worse. <laughs> it's just like... I don't know. It's, it's something sort of comforting about that. <laughs> How is your cat, by the way? My two cats, they're good. Oh yeah, your two cats, sorry. I, I just, all I think about is your fat cat. I love your fat cat. Wait, I have a picture I wanna show everybody. It's this picture. Can anybody see that? You just put it in the Discord later on. Yeah, I can put it in the Discord, but basically he's just lying on this chair and he's facing the back, the back seat of the chair. And I sent it to all my friends and I was like, this is the first time I've ever seen him sit in this chair facing the back. He's so open-minded, open to new experiences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that is one smart cat you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Plam says, my eight-year-old picking up Procreate almost as fast as I am. Oh, my kids are way ahead of me when it comes to procreate. I mean, they are running circles around me in terms of digital art. Alex says the gray one also seems to be a kitten rather than adult. Kittens always look a little odd. Oh, my brother has been getting all these foster kittens and I'm like totally obsessed with his Instagram stories. <laughs> <laughs> Clara, oh, I was going to use really, this. You really should get a cat someday. I can't. My husband's allergic. There are kinds with fur that don't make people allergic, right? Yeah, but they're ugly. Oh, <laughs> Can never win with you. Nope. This cat's well, head is too squished. Too bad. Oh, oh, look at his cheekbone. Oh, oh gosh. He's so chiseled and 
you captured his eyes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go watch Doctor Strange later this afternoon when he's a hot doctor surgeon. <laughs> Everybody, I hope that you will join Kat and I in the Art Prop Discord. We will be hanging out in the post live streams channel if you would like to post your draw along work. We would love to see it. Invite link is in the YouTube video description below. And a big thank you to our top Patreon supporters. We need every single one of you. We need those super chats to stay up and running and free to everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.